right, today's Sunday, March 31st, 2019. I put about, uh, about, about five hours in this thing today. Uh, yesterday, after I let it off the lift, I popped the hubcaps on. Well, actually, I popped them on while I was on the lift. So these are, uh, I bought these about, about six months ago. They were new old stock. Um, so they were basically brand new. Um, popped them on. Man, they were a real pain really really tight to fit on um, used a just a rubber mallet and a lot of persuasion um, and it's a real shame that I had to beat on them uh, to get them to go on but they didn't damage I mean I guess they're made out of stainless because or whatever because they the rubber mallet didn't do anything so that's the final result there that's uh, I'm digging it I like how I painted the uh, the rims blue I think it really makes a difference versus black um, and again, these are 175, 75, 14s. So they're, I believe they're the smallest 14 inch tire you can go with. So that's the stance of the car. It's a little low, a little lower than, than a full stock, I think. That's about what you see on the exhaust with that kit. Now, when I let it down on the lift yesterday, I, uh, I had to make some adjustments on the back half of the exhaust because it was rubbing the tires. So that, that took me like another hour. Um, so I think if, if you have a narrowed rear end, it's gonna make that, that clearance that much tighter um, with stock wheels. I mean, with reverse wheels or deep dish wheels or whatever, your wheels are kicking out the other side. So, so there's no issue. But with stock wheels, they're kicking in. So it uh, might be a little bit of, to work with. So what I did today was I, uh, I buffed out the fenders. I swapped out the 283 emblems for some 327s simply because I think those look nicer and they were free. Um, so I buffed out both fenders, popped the moldings on, popped the emblem on, um, readjusted the gap a little bit, tweaked it just a hair. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. Also did the same for this fender, buffed it out, popped the molding on, popped the emblem on. Did a little bit of adjustment on the fender also. And again, that's about what you see on the exhaust. So uh, that was today's project. Um, I'll also put the door panel on, passenger side. So that interior is getting more and more complete. I'm waiting on, I gotta figure out something about the radio so that I can run some kick panels so that I can tuck the carpet so that I could put the seat in. So it's kind of a process. But um, so the back seat's done. I already showed that previously. Door panels are in. The passenger side went on a lot easier than the driver's side for some reason. Driver's side took quite a bit of work. Uh, I'm gonna have to tweak on the brakes a little bit. I'm getting a real soft pedal. I actually haven't put this thing in gear yet. Just fired it up in park. Yesterday I let it warm up about 30 minutes, let it idle for about 30 minutes, got it up to temperature. Uh, still haven't timed it. I did order a timing gun. Uh, so I'm gonna have to figure out something with the brakes because I really don't want to go putting this thing in gear uh, with no brakes. So that's today's work this week. Uh, probably gonna end up buffing the hood, get it done. Um, figure out something, whatever's going on with the brakes, start putting the grill in back bumper can go on so we're getting we're getting closer it's starting to look more like a car now so uh just a quick little update and uh thanks for watching